In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to mirror your Chromebook screen to a TV with a Chromecast so that everyone can see whatever you're doing on your Chromebook on the big screen. For this tutorial, we're going to be using Chromecast, so you will need to have either a Chromecast or a Google TV plugged into your TV and set up and connected to Wi-Fi. And you will need to make sure you change the TV's input to the HDMI port that's plugged into the Chromecast so that you can see this regular Chromecast home screen on your TV. Or if you have a smart TV with Chromecast built in, that will work too. Quite a few TVs these days have Chromecast built in. So if you have one of those, you can just use that. And if you don't have any sort of Chromecast, and you don't want to buy one, Timmy actually has a different video about connecting your Chromebook to a TV with an HDMI cable, but this video is all about Chromecast. And one more thing before we get started is you will need to make sure your Chromebook is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the Chromecast. If you're at home, it probably already is, but if you're at a friend's house or something, you'll need to make sure you connect your Chromecast to their Wi-Fi network first. But once everything's all set up and ready to go, on your Chromebook, you'll just need to come and click on this menu in the bottom left-hand corner here. So just click anywhere on all of these icons to bring up this menu. And depending on your Chromebook, it might look like this, but if it looks like that, You'll just need to click this up arrow here to expand it and see all the options. And now you'll need to find this cast icon here. And you might have to click this other dot here to go across to the next page and find the icon there. But for Timmy, it's in this first page, so Timmy can just click on it here. And now once you've found that icon, you just need to click on it. And now you'll see a list of all the available Chromecasts on your Wi-Fi network. So if you only have one, you'll just see the one here. But if you have multiple Chromecasts or multiple smart TVs with Chromecast built in, you just need to choose the one you want to cast to. Timmy's going to choose Studio TV. And now if you look at your TV, you should now see whatever is on your Chromebook showing up on your TV. So now you can click around on your Chromebook and bring up any website you want and browse the web or pull up a Google Slides presentation or look through photos or just do anything you want. Anything on your screen is now showing on the TV. And in the video, you might be noticing a bit of flickering and a bit of rainbowy effect. That's not because of the Chromecast or the mirroring. That's just what happens when you film a TV. But one thing to be aware of is there is usually a slight delay between your Chromebook screen and the TV. So it's usually easier if you, the person controlling the Chromebook, keeps looking at the Chromebook screen instead of looking at the TV because it can be a bit difficult to move the mouse around the screen when there's a delay. But now everyone else in the room will be able to see what you're doing on the TV without having to crowd around your Chromebook. And so now once you've finished doing whatever you're doing on here and you no longer want your Chromebook to keep mirroring to the TV, you'll just need to come back down to this menu in the bottom right hand corner. And now you won't actually need to click on the Chromecast icon and the cast icon will actually have disappeared entirely. But in your notifications up here, you'll have a notification that says casting to Studio TV or casting to whatever TV you're casting to. And all you need to do is click on the notification and it will stop casting. So now your Chromebook is not mirroring the screen. And if you look back at your TV, it's just showing pictures. And that's all there is to it. That's how you can mirror your Chromebook screen to your TV with a Chromecast. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you want more Chromebook tips and tutorials like this, you'll find them all in a playlist here.